welcome to Guildford Station. Guildford Station originally opened in 1881 as part of the main Eastern Railway through Perth from Guildford to Fremantle. Later in the same decade the station was rebuilt and then again in 1898. The main station was demolished in 1960 and the car park was rebuilt on its location, but the 1898 shelter still remains on the sta at the station today. The station is located between James and Victoria Street, right in the town centre of Guildford, 12.5 kilometres from Perth in Fares on 2. It is also registered in the Western Australian Heritage List as one of the significant places in the historic town of Guildford. Just to the west of the station is one of the four magnificent bridges on the Transperth network that cross the Swan River, others being the one near Perth Stadium on the Armadale Line, on the Mandra Line at Narrows Bridge, and of course, the beautiful Fremantle Rail Bridge. We are now crossing the pedestrian maze on the western side of the station, coming from the PSP. Right there on the left is a transit officer training centre, where all the transit officers for, for Transperth come to train their skills, improve their skills. Okay, now let's walk up onto this simple island platform, which as I said before still has the 1898 shelter on it. Here, that's, as soon as you come up, there are some open station smart rider processors, like most hot stations which are open stations. Ah, a train's coming. Let's view this. all the commuters on their way home. Okay, let's head more down the platform now. Some bike urals as well, and lots of trees and shrubs in the planters. Of course, a timetable pole. There's the shelter I was talking about. Nice red bricks, like at Dagler Station. It's a very similar design here, just that instead of a subway under the tracks, it is a pedestrian maze and also as you can see just at the end of the screen there there is a footbridge which is not a Dacklish. Here's the central part of the shelter. There's a defibrillator, a transit officer booth inside, like a Dacklish, information point, emergency point, ticket machine. Just one of each. And some seating and beans of course. And now we come to the uncovered part of the platform. Some more seating on this side. There only seems to be a bit of seating outside of the hut at stations like these. And down here there's another smart rider processor. If you want to take this super steep ramp, which is common on the Midland Line, up to the footbridge which crosses the Perth bound track, and heads back down. So let's go all the way up now. Here we are at the top. Let's take a nice 360 shot from up here. There's the Guildford Town Centre and all the restaurants. And the car park for the station. The tracks merge in together here for the last two stations, Woodbridge and Midland. Another car park on this side, the transit officer training center, the glaring sun, and yeah, that's it. Let's head back down the other side, over here. 
you can see that just gravit where the bridge goes above the tracks here, the fence is a bit higher. Anti-suicide, you wouldn't want someone jumping down there as a driver. On this side the ramp is a bit different, it comes down about halfway or two-thirds of the way for, as the other one does and then it loops around and goes back down the other way as you can see. At the bottom here there's a nice sign giving you all the information you need about this wonderful town or suburb or I don't know what really distinguishes towns and suburbs. I guess towns are just places where in the olden days, yeah what a cliche term, they used to have like a hub of shops and meeting gathering places. But suburb is just a modern urbanization of a city. Okay over there you saw the pedestrian dedicated crossing to safely get to the other side of this road which is James Street. And there was the train replacement bus stop for the station, right here as well. And the other one on the other side of the road over there. Some Adams coach line buses operate from this station on weekends or something to go to the Swan to go like around the Swan Valley for people to go to all the wineries around there. And otherwise, to get to the Swan Valley, you have to go on. Route 335 from Midland Station, I think it is, which is not very m frequent. And it's quite a weird route, just driving. It goes on the Reed Highway, or Raw Highway, and then it goes up through the Swan Valley area on those weird rural roads with just some random stops. Okay, we're getting off topic now. Here's a little staircase up to the car park. Also, there's some bus stops quite close to the station for Route 36, which is the one that goes from Perth Station to Midland Station, along the Midland Line. <laughs> Basically the 220 of the Midland Line, like I said in the um, Gosnells video, a random route that does the entire length of a train line just with more stops along the way. Oh, seems like the path's missing here. Under these big trees, which are perfect for magpies to swoop down. Oh, how I hate magpies. I've got permanent scars on my body from their swooping. Okay. Yeah. I hate magpie season so much. One of the worst animals in Australia. Prove me wrong. Okay, yeah, way off topic now. We just passed the place where we started, past this grass. Here, there's a little bike shelter on the right. Let's take a peek inside. And I'm going to rate the station... Mm, two stars. It's not very good. Just a small hut, but it's got a footbridge. And it's a bit of a bigger hut than some other stations. Just a few more train clips now and then we'll end the video. Thanks for watching.
The next train to Perth departs in one minute. The train stops all stations.